Hey guys, this is Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my YA bookshelf tour. Now, I'm going to go over all of the books on this shelf it's shortly, but I thought I'd give you a little clip of just the books and I'm going to go through each one separately. Now, what I've done recently is I've recently changed this. I actually changed this the day before I recorded this. So I think I can get to them easier to show you. And I hope you like all of them. Now, I'm so looking forward to going through some of these books because some of them are brand new. And I will go through them shortly. I'm going to see if I can actually film some of the clips this way round and then some of it, but with me in them. So I think I'm going to do this bit. But actually, I'll do the front ones this way round. So the first one is Red, White and World Blue, which I read last, I think it was the start of the year. And thoroughly loved it. It is every bit of one of my, yeah, it was one of my favourite books of last year. And it was recommended by Clint. And it was given to me by the lovely Carrie Ann from Women's Versus Books. So that's the first one. Then I've got Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, which I won on a giveaway from Connor from Connor's Reading, Li Reading Corner, I think. It was Library Corner. And I'm buddy reading this in July with the lovely Chloe from Chloe Reads Books. Then the next one is one that I may have read by the time this comes out, I'm not sure. My sister Charlie gave me this. They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. Now, she has raved about it. Connor's raved about it. Chloe's raved about it. So I've got to get to it. Now, another book that was in that giveaway is the autobi it was Autobiography by Christi Christina Lauren. This is my first and only Christina Lauren book at the moment. But I think I'm reading it with Chloe. Can't remember. But I know it's one that, I'm re that lots of people have spoken about. So three years ago, Tamara Scott's family released from California to Utah. A move that only nudged the bisexual teen temporarily back into the closet. So looking forward to that. So the next books are ones that I got given by Chloe yesterday. So I'm going to show you them in the right order. So the first one is The Last Olympic. No, that's actually the, most, the last one. See, I'm going to go in right on the right order. So The Lightning Thief is the first one in the series. This is actually the only one that's not got splayed edges. I'm going to go put that one that way around and then sort that out. I don't know much about the series, but I know that Chloe has raved about it and she said that it's a series that she thinks I'm going to love. Now, the next one is The Sea of the Monsters by Rick Riordan. Look, green splayed edges. Gotta love it. Then I've got... The Titan's Curse, which again, this is purple spade edges. Oh my goodness, this is going to be some great fun for some of my tag videos. Red spade edges, two, like I said, two of my favourite colours. Battle of the Labyrinth. Then I believe the last in the series is The Last Olympian. And yellow spade edges. So I am going to thoroughly, thoroughly love these. And as you'll see, I'm now putting them in order. And let's do this. I think I will actually do the whole video for not facing me, so because I think it's actually going to be easier to do it this way with me not actually in it. Hey, you get a video of me not seeing not seeing my face. Oh, that's got to be good. So right, so that's it for this pile. So I think what I'm going to do is go over the next big pile and then work my way. So this is a new book that I got yesterday that I got recently and writing in the sand. I bought this when I was went shopping with with the lovely Gemma from Reader Book Town. Amy, wait till you hear this. I hold my breath. What? Last night someone left a baby on our doorstep. My heart stops. This is it, I think. Now what do I do? So, really looking forward to this. Then you guys obviously know about Eleanor and Park, because I bloody I read this a couple of months ago. But I did really enjoy that. Chloe gave that to me, so that's another Chloe book. Then my sister has given me at Last Bus to Everland, a world where you, where you do... And apparently she thinks I'm going to absolutely love this. Brody has enough of real life, enough of bullies on the block, enough of being second best at home until he meets Nico, colourful, confident, flamboyant. Nico takes Brody to Everland. Definitely got to get to this. Now, the next books are obviously the Knots and Crosses series. I've got this little um, one that I got free. So that's a sort of early one. It's novella, I think. So I'm not sure about that one. Now, these are in... Order, so I'm gonna to have to show them that way round and then put them in order. So I've got Noughts and Crosses, which is the first in the series, which you guys know I absolutely loved. Knife Edge, I've read and I loved. I think I've read Checkmate as well. 
Yep, I read Checkmate, so and that's the third in the series. So at the time of filming this, the fourth in the series is on my shelves ready to be read. And then I've got the fifth and final in the series at the moment, I believe, which is Crossfire. And I don't want to know too much about that because obviously it's the next, it's the last one in the series. And it's um again about Seppi and, Seppi and Kana. So this is going to be good. So I'm just going to take a pause now because I'm going to go and sort out my dinner and I'll show you the next books shortly. So here we go. This is the next bit of the shelf. And obviously I've got the whole of the Curse of Dark and Lonely series. First one is the Curse of Dark and Lonely. Then we've got Hearts of Fierce and Broken and A Bell So Bold and Deadly. All of which I flipping love. You guys know I love these. Then we've got this one, which I was given by Connor. I don't know much about because it was in that bit in the bookshelf. So you guys can hold on this. Read about it. Some secrets are worth killing for. Don't know any more about that. So Connor's giving me that. Another book I read last year for a read-along with Tandem. This is probably one of my favourite Tandem read-alongs. And that is Cinderella's Dead by Caelan Byron. She's got her next book out this year. And I'm probably going to try and get that. But I love this one. It's a, it's a fairy tale retelling of Cinderella. And it's just amazing. LGBT plus characters in it. It's done beautifully. Loved it. And then the Northern Lights series. So Northern Lights, Amber Spogel and Such a Knife. All of which I love. And it, there are my Harry Potter books quickly. Just quickly showing you them. So I've got all of them. They're not in matching copies, which is annoying for me. Because I like, I'm now, ever since I joined Booktube, you guys know I like my matching copies. This is you lot's fault, by the way. I love having books that the whole set has to match. And that annoys me when it doesn't match. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that as one's off. Because I don't need to go over those books. Everyone knows about them. So that's going to be that. Now, I'm going to show you the next books, and I'm going to go see if I've got one at the top there. Nah, I can't show you that very well. So I've got Sophie Kinsella's Finding Audrey, which is her YA book. Now, from what I've been told, this is not one of her best ones. Her YA one is not one of her best ones. So, don't know much about that. I picked it up because it's Sophie Kinsella, and I love Sophie Kinsella. Then we've got, this one was my impulse buy that I found in a charity shop. The Transition. Now, I thought LGBTQ plus book. Turns out it's not. Turns out it's a sci-fi book, but it was long listed for, a Des for the Deslam and Elliot Prize. A sort of book that has you walking blindly through seven lanes of traffic with your face pressed obliviously to the page. About debts that get you out of control. I don't know too much about it, but if any of you guys know about it, let me know. I'll put them there so I don't lose track. This one I bought yesterday. I know I bought this week. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Now, I've been told by Chloe that this is going to make me cry. And a lot of other people have said exactly the same thing. Theodore Finch wants to take his own life. Vince Violet Marley is devastated by his sister's death. So this could be interesting. But I, I saw it on the sale at my book, local bookshelf and loved the look of it. You guys know no, I don't need to say much about this. This is my Eve of Man book. I have got... The second one, I'm just thinking my wire bookshelf tour, it's actually on the wrong shelf, but there you go, I need to sort that out. And that's Eve, the evolution that I need to probably put on this shelf at some point. Then we've got this one. I loved the last Robin Tally book that I read on off my shelves from the library. We tell us the lives we tell ourselves. I love this book. So when I saw this in the charity shop near me last year when I went shopping with Chloe, I loved it. 1955-9, The Battle for Civil Rights is Raging. My first black student. So this one is one I'm going to need to get to soon because I think it looks amazing. Oh, my arm's getting sore now, guys, so I will do another break in a minute. Then we've got The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon. I loved Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon, so I really can't wait to get to this. Cas from Cats and Cameras raved about this book and said I'm going to like it. The story of a girl and the boy in the universe. So I don't know too much about it. It looks like a million futures before us. So love that. And I've got Heartless by Marissa Meyer, which I got given by Julie from The Hungry Bookworm. Loved this the second time I read it. Don't know if I should keep it or not because I've read it twice. But I just, it's a beautiful copy, so I want to keep it, I think. Then last but no, no means least on this pile, and this is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. Again, splayed edges, looks beautiful. I'm going to buddy read this with, with Gemma from Read a Book Gem at some point, and it's the first in the series. And again, Chloe's loved it. So... I'm going to have to read that. Now, lastly, I'll do this series. But I know this series is, is, is in an actual pile. 
and oh my books are going to fall down now so this is the spinsters trilogy by holly bourne so the first one is am i normal yet then we've got how hard can love be and what's a girl going to do and they, this is about each one of the spinsters trilogies at uh, spinster sisters it's a fantastic series, YA contemporary, tackles mental health in an amazing way. And this whole series is fantastic. I loved it. Heard about it from Nic Nicole, who was a beautiful case of books. And now it's another on Instagram. And I think it's she's to do with Stephen King's. So I'll try and link her on Instagram. She's amazing. So she recommended this series to me. Got it from, from the works for a cheap and it's brilliant. So the next clip will be me showing all that side of books. See you in a second. So this is the last clip and this will be of all of my fairy tale retellings all along this side and I've got some extras that kind of fit into this colour wide. It's not perfect, I'm sorry about this, it's not perfect but I do like it. I think I might actually might change this around actually because I've got, first of all I've got The Black Flamingo by Dean Attar which was a book that I loved last year. Charlie from Charles Heathcote has given it to me, uh, my own copy because I borrowed it from my sister last year and I thoroughly love this book, it's one of my absolute all time favourites. I'm just going to put that down there now. The gilded ones I got for my birthday for from Chris, my other half. And this looks absolutely incredible. I've heard mixed reviews about this. Some people have absolutely loved it and others have hated it. Green Spade Edges. We are girls or are we demons? Are we going to die or are we going to survive? I don't know why this jumped out at me. Please, guys, give me, let me know. Should I get on with this and read this? Da -da -da. I've got another read along that I did. I don't know if this should be on the YA shelf or the middle grade shelf. And that's The Secret of Birds and Bone by Kira Miltaris. Thoroughly love this. This is a beautiful book. Go and look at the edges. So, love that one. I think I'm going to work. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to decide as I'm talking to you how I'm going to show you these. So obviously, we've got Concrete Rose I got given for my birthday by the lovely Connor. And it's the, it's the prequel. So, that's that one. Then we've got the Monster Calls. You guys all know about that. That's thoroughly, that's an amazing series. And we all love that, but that's going to make me cry. This one was a random one I picked up at the charity shop. The Hand and the Eye and the Heart. I don't know very much about it. I know it's a YA. So I think it's a retelling. I can't honestly tell you. I think it's fantasy. Richly topical. You're going to fall in love with Z. So that's going to be interesting. Then I've got Legend Born for my birthday from Charlie. And I'm gonna so looking forward to this. Everyone's heard about this. I cannot wait to read it. Apparently, I'm body reading with my sister. Apparently, and we've got Maleficent. The re that's the, re the retelling of that. Mistress of Evil. Looking forward to getting to that. Rebel Rose, which is another Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I've heard great things about it. But I've also heard that Chloe didn't like it. So I'm quite nervous, but I'm really looking forward to it. This book should probably have been read by the time these come out. I think. Clint from Reads Readers has loved this, The Lost in the Book. So this is another Beauty and the Beast retelling. We'll probably get on with that one very soon. Why is it me and my Beauty and the Beast retelling? And we've got As Old as Time, which is the, another Beauty and the Beast retelling. I'm told you I'm going to keep this. I love this one, but I didn't love the other one in the series, the Let It Go, in one of these in the series. So I'm hoping, this is the Let It Go, this is the Frozen retelling. Hoping I'm going to like this. I'm really excited by it. So this is Love, and this is, I think, a Cinderella retelling. Another one. And then we've got Once Upon a Time, which is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. All of which I'm looking forward to. Then we've got the other, these are the Villains retellings. Um, this one I need to read first, because this is the first in the series, which is Poor Unfortunate Soul. So that's about the Ursula and the Little Mermaid. Fairest of them all, which I've read, I believe. So why did the Wicked Queen become evil? I've loved, read that and loved that. Mother Knows Best. I think that's I think that's on the, the Witch from the Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that looks good. Mistress of all Evil. I can't remember if I read that one or the other one. I think I read, that, read this one, not the Mistress of Fairest of All. So I can't honestly remember, I'm afraid. That one's really good. And then last but no, I know means least, we've got the Beast Within, which is obviously the last Beauty and the Beast retelling. So this is all my YA books, and I've hoped you enjoyed this tour, and I'll see you all soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and not subscribed yet, ring on my ding-a-ling. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.